Real quick update here. We've uh, basically got this thing ready for turf and the turf is on a truck about three hours away from the site. So hopefully by next week we've got the turf installed and this backyard is finally looking pretty much finished. But I got a quick hitter video for you guys today. Just got back from Nashville. Uh, got to shoot some really interesting content. I'm going to bring you a bigger video on Sunday about uh, my buddy Jerry's uh, first solo ICF uh, monopore pool. He's, uh, he's done a few with me. He was down in the Dolphin Island Project and some stuff in Springfield, but that was his first one in Nashville in his own market. Really proud of the way he's, uh, he's done. I'm going to bring you that, but before I do, I got to tour some really amazing, I'm talking multi, multi-million dollar properties with really beautiful pools going in, but it really got me thinking about talking more about um, the differences of gunite and uh, ICF pools. Obviously, mine's covered up right now. I'm trying to hold on to every bit of BTUs that I can while it's getting pretty cold at night. But the big thing about the video I'm about to show you is I got to see two pools, one ready for the shotcrete to be installed and one with it already installed but not plastered. And that's the kicker about gunite is that it standalone, it's structurally nice, but it does not give you a waterproof, I mean, it is a really rough shell. It is counting on the plaster to make it beautiful. Um, with ICF, you have a much straighter wall automatically, much um, easier to finish. Whether you're using the same plasters or Pebble Tex, or you're going to an eco finish, you know, skin microplaster, anything, it's just a more ready surface. The other pushback I see every once in a while online is that ICF pools have to be more expensive than gunite. And I, I don't understand that logic when typically ICF on a house might be more because it's obviously a lot more structurally robust and more concrete, the foam, all that. But on a pool, it's pretty much, I mean, pools are fairly expensive anyway. The margins are higher. Like on a vinyl liner pool, the steel is like 10 or 12 grand for a pool. That's 20 by 40. That same ICF and concrete is less than 10. So why is it more? Well, same is true with the gunite version. I'm going to show you the first pool that I'm going to take you to. I'm going to let you see how much false work and everything went into making a rectangular pool in this hole. They've had to put up so much plywood and sandbags to create a staircase where you can do all of it with ICF. I mean, all of it. So it eliminates so much work prior. It's cheaper in a case like that. It's never more. It can be as much, but it's never more. It's very often cheaper. And even if it's the same, you're gaining all the thermal benefits of ICF, the insulation, everything. It's a no brainer. The next one I'll show you is one that's already been shot created. And it's just so janky looking, which I know that's what it's supposed to look like. But when you see an ICF pool that just has tie holes to address, which are there and you know how to address them, but there's so many little just pin holes and everything that the reason eco finish is much more expensive on gunite is because you first have to plaster it. It's like two finishes that you have to do. The prep to eco finish an ICF pool is far less significant. It's still, you know, there's still quite a bit of prep, but it's less so than with gunite. So I'm gonna start trying to this winter. I've got tons of cool content coming up from a lot of cool locations. But when I get an opportunity to show you some very good work that is just old school, when we're doing new school, I, I want to do that. So enjoy these two pools real quick, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a long-form video with, uh, with my buddy in Nashville. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to show you guys a gunite pool here in Nashville. I'm still here uh, shooting some video because, uh, as you guys know, you can have things cheap. You can have them fast, you can have them good, you can have two of the three, but you can never have all three. And um, gunite can be kind of fast, but if you look at this, look at all this false work that they've had to build. Everybody says, oh, the ICF is gonna be so much more, or it's gonna be slower. Look to get this pool done the way they wanted. Look at all this false work that's going to come off when they're done. Look at all this rebar tying that had to be done free form, free floating. There's bags of stuff to make fill. To make this shape without mono pouring ICF, they've had to go above and beyond. Their labor is significantly higher than it would be with ICF. And then the other kicker is all this rebar, there's nothing gauging the thickness other than the guy shooting the gun. If the gunite guy is not talented, not paying attention, he'll be thin, the rebar will be too close to the surface, and you'll have rusty spots bleeding through. I mean, this is a beautiful pool, it's gonna be awesome. But with ICF, you can have it, 
fast, cheap, and good. Now, when I say cheap, I don't mean cheap, like cheap. I mean, compared to Gunite, it can be cheaper, even though Gunite is not as good on multiple levels. So yeah, guys, just want to show you this. I mean, this is what goes into a Gunite pool very often. Sometimes you can shoot directly to the earth, and if so, then maybe it's faster. But in most cases, especially in the Midwest and the Mid-South, you're digging a hole and you are, you know, forming this thing up like this. And this, this is significantly more work than an ICF monopore, exactly the same shape as this. Because all that would just be an ICF wall, easy peasy. And all this over here would already be in train with a two-sided form. You just fill it up. So um, way easier. But anyway, just kind of trying to bring you guys a lot of different, uh, different stuff and why we're thinking about it. The, um, the, our new business model is going to really kind of help you guys get started in the ICF game quicker and more efficiently. So these pools can uh, be the new standard in fancy high-end pools. Okay, guys, this is a very similar sized gunite pool. And just I want you to look at the, the, the finish on the gunite because, you know, they're counting on the plaster to do everything. With ICF pools you get so much closer to a perfect finish. I mean, there's work to be done, but look at this. I mean, without plaster, you, that's why EcoFinish is so expensive on a brand new gunite pool is because you first have to plaster it to make it remotely good enough to hold water. And I mean, look at the holes. I mean, put your finger through these things. All, oh, I mean, literally the entire pool is just a big sponge till you plaster it, which they know the plaster guys are gonna come back and make, make nice, but ICF is the future, guys. I mean. This is a typical gun. This is not a bad gun. This is good gunite. It's just what it is. So, all right.